10 morning exercises. You should do as soon as you get out of bed. You don't need to bang out a whole morning workout, but morning exercises can increase blood flow and give you the boost you need to start the day. After a full night's sleep, you'd think we'd wake up feeling refreshed and ready to tackle the day. But lying still for hours can make our bodies stiff and achy. While you don't need to do a hardcore workout, first thing, taking a few minutes for these secret morning stretches can get your body moving again. Whether you're a regular at early morning spin class or you save your strength training for the evenings, these basic exercises can loosen up tight muscles and increase flexibility so you can perform your best and before diving into your usual morning routine, checking emails, social media, coffee, try slowly flowing through some of these movements to relieve tension. Just a few minutes can make a big difference in how your body feels and functions as you start your day. Let's get started, but before that, like and subscribe for more videos like this. 1. Bird Dog Bird Dog is a simple but effective morning exercise. By activating muscles throughout your body, especially along the spine, it improves posture and core stabilization for daily activities. Here's how. Get on hands and knees with shoulders over wrists and knees under hips and draw abdominal muscles inward. Engage glutes, pull shoulder blades down with spine neutral. Lift right arm forward and left leg back, extending fully. Bring elbow and knee together, holding three seconds before straightening again. Complete 10 repetitions per side, squeezing glutes and tightening core throughout. This full body wake up targets back strength balance and coordination in an easy home routine. Just a minute or two helps posture and technique for everyday tasks like climbing stairs or walking with efficiency. Two, cat cow. Yoga's cat-cow pose is a splendid way to wake up your spine first thing in the morning, preparing it for whatever your day may bring, says Hampton, a personal trainer in Philadelphia. To do it, get on your hands and knees, hands below shoulders, knees below hips, and inhale as you drop your chest, pushing hips and shoulder blades back into cow position. Lift your chin, gaze forward. Exhale as you draw belly button toward spine, rounding back to ceiling in cat pose. That's one rep. Aim for ten. Waking up that spine so it's ready to bend and move. Three, why hold into handcuff position? So here's a move that can help fix the common issue of tight chest muscles and weak upper backs that many guys deal with. It's called the why hold into handcuff position. Basically, you lie face down with your arms stretched overhead in a Y shape and squeeze those upper back muscles and lift your arms and chest off the ground. Hold for like 10. 15 seconds, then sweep your arms back behind your lower back like you're getting handcuffed. Clasp one hand around the opposite wrist real tight and squeeze your shoulder blades together for a sec. That's one rep. Do three to five reps, switching which hand clasps the other each time. Pro tip, keep your thumbs up as you start the movement to target the shoulders more. This exercise mobilizes tight chest tissues and activates postural muscles in the upper back so you can stand taller. It's a great move I'd recommend to help counteract all that hunching over we do. Four, glute bridge. The glute bridge is a great exercise to start your workout with. Since most of us sit at desks all day, our posterior muscles like the hamstrings, booty, and lower back tend to get weak and tight. Kicking off your routine by activating the glutes and hammies can help open up those tight hip flexors from excessive sitting, improve bad posture, and prevent pulls or lower back pain down the road. To do a glute bridge, lie on your back with bent knees and feet flat on the floor about shoulder width apart. Press your heels into the floor and lift your hips up until your body forms a straight line from shoulders to knees. When you reach the top, squeeze your booty and keep your core braced and make sure your shins stay vertical as you lower your hips back down to the starting position. That's one rep. Shoot for 20 reps, engaging your glutes at the top each time. Pro tip, keeping your abs contracted throughout the entire movement is crucial for protecting your lower back by stabilizing your spine in a neutral position. Letting your back arch excessively under load can lead to pain or injury over time. Five, dead bug. The dead bug is a great core exercise to do first thing in the morning. Here's why it's so good. Activating your core right after waking up 
help stabilize your spine during daily activities, reducing aches and pains, according to some trainer named Hampton. To do it, lie flat on your back with bent knees and hips at 90 degrees and stretch your arms to the ceiling. Brace your core by drawing in your belly button and press your lower back into the floor. Now reach one hand behind your head while straightening the opposite leg, keeping it hovering over the floor. Switch to the other arm and leg, and that's one rep. Aim for 10 reps per side. So in short, the dead bug fires up your core so it can support your back properly throughout the day. Just a few sets after getting out of bed can make a difference over time. It may feel tough at first, but stick with it, and those abs and lower back will get stronger. 6. Quadruped Rotation So there's this move called the quadruped rotation that's supposed to help open up your upper back and thoracic spine. Which, yeah, very important because if you're like me and sit at a computer all day, things can get pretty tight and uncomfortable up there, and it's a simple stretch to do. You start on your hands and knees with your hands under your shoulders and knees under your hips. Then you lightly place one hand on your upper back or neck and twist your body as far as you comfortably can toward the hand that's still on the floor. Do both sides, twisting back and forth slowly, five times each. I will say the instructions told me to keep my spine neutral instead of letting it arch back. That's supposed to prevent pain or discomfort, and that makes sense. Sometimes I go too hard into stretches when I shouldn't. Got to remember to keep good form. Anyway, seemed easy enough, and I could already feel it loosening up my back a little. 7. Plank The plank is a good core workout that hits all your muscles at once. By squeezing everything from head to toe, you get the abs firing, glutes engaged, even shoulders and arms working. It may not seem like much, but holding the plank right can be tough. To start, get down on the ground on your hands and knees. Make sure your hands land right under your shoulders, then walk your feet back until your body forms one long straight line. Squeeze your core by drawing your belly button to spine, flex glutes and quads too, and be sure to keep your neck neutral by focusing your gaze just slightly in front of you instead of straining to look down. The goal is to maintain this body position, being careful not to sag or hike hips too high for at least 60 seconds or longer as you're able. Even just holding for 30, 45 seconds works wonders. 8. Reverse lunge with torso twist. Now, so there's this exercise called the reverse lunge with torso twist. It's supposed to be really good for opening up tight hips and ankles, which are problem areas for a lot of people. The lunge gets you moving in that rotational way that wakes your body up and sets you up for better movement throughout the day. Here's how you do it. Start standing with feet together and take a big step back with one leg, bending both knees until your back knee almost touches the ground. When you're in that low lunge position, reach both arms straight up to the sky, then twist your upper body towards the leg you have forward. Bring your arms and torso back to center, then drive through your front heel to push back up to standing. That's one rep. Do five reps on each side, and your hips and ankles will feel nice and loose. The twisting motion engages your core too. Just remember to keep your chest lifted, and don't let your back foot turn outwards when you lunge back. 9. Downward Dog Downward Dog is a great yoga pose with a bunch of benefits. By straightening your legs and arms while bending at the hips to stick your butt in the air, you stretch your whole body from hands to heels. This inverted V-shape is supposed to open up your spine, get your blood flowing, and relieve stress. To get into the pose, start on your hands and knees with palms under your shoulders and knees under your hips. Crawl your hands forward a little, keeping arms straight, and lift your knees off the floor so your body makes an upside-down V with straight legs. Feet stay hip-width apart, with toes pointing forward. Bend knees slightly to avoid hyperextending. Hold for a few slow, deep breaths. To come out of it, bend knees again and sit back on heels before lying down to relax. It's a simple sequence to open up the backside of your body. The key is keeping the core engaged spine long and breath steady. Over time, you'll be able to straighten the legs more, 
to intensify the stretch. 10. Forward Fold Here's how to do the forward fold yoga pose. Stand up straight first, taking a nice deep breath to relax. Reach your arms up overhead, then exhale as you carefully fold forward from your hip joints. Don't curl your back. Let your head and neck feel nice and loose. Keep knees bent a little so you don't strain anything. Hang out here breathing slowly for a few moments to lengthen your spine. When ready, bend knees again and use your leg muscles to slowly roll back up, stacking each vertebrae, and that's one rep. Why is it important to stretch in the morning? If you've ever dragged yourself out of bed to hit the gym early, you know that moving first thing gets you going. It loosens up those stiff, sleepy muscles and gives you an energy kickstart. But Swan says you don't need a hardcore workout to feel good. Just doing some basic stretches when you roll out of bed can get your blood flowing and muscles primed for the day. We spend hours holding still while sleeping, so simple exercises in the A and M enhance flexibility and prep your body for all the moving around most of us have to do. This mini morning routine helps prevent injury too. Does stretching in the morning boost metabolism? So there's this study in PNAS, this science journal, about mice working out in the morning versus the evening. The morning mice got more of a metabolism boost supposedly, which makes sense when you think about it. You wake up all stiff and need to get the blood flowing. Anyway, this trainer dude Swan says stretching in the morning helps with that, and it sends more blood to your muscles so you burn more energy and calories over time after your stretch. Whether the study conclusively proves stretching boosts metabolism, who knows? But getting the blood pumping when you first wake up can't hurt. I mean, I'm no scientist, but I know if I don't stretch when I roll out of bed, I walk around like a zombie until I get some jumps jacks in. We're not mice. But maybe being active in the AM kicks our systems into gear better than working out before bed.